Hello everybody, I'm George from Beaumont Guitars. And I'm Harry. And today we have this ESP custom guitar. Whoa, all right, a little 3D action. Uh, Harry has read your comments. He's brought it to show everyone. Uh, Harry, tell us a little bit about this Explorer uh, ESP. Well, um, this is uh, my uh, ESP Explorer that I bought in 97, 98 um, from 48th Street Custom. Uh, this is, uh, it's just labeled on the uh, paperwork as just an Explorer in black. Uh, so they weren't really called um, uh, MXs here in the States. Uh, so originally they made this as, uh, as a, um, as a bolt-on. Okay, and but, you said uh, absolutely not? Well, I, I went to uh, 48th Street Custom, mm -hmm. and uh, they had two guitars I wanted to buy. It was this and a uh, KH3, the uh, Les Paul with the spider on it. Another um, beautiful guitar. That one was only available as a bolt-on, um, but when I went to uh, 48th Street, they had this one as a set neck, so I had to take it. So um, it's, a, uh, it's a set neck Explorer um, with the ESP Custom Shop logo. Um, ESP Custom on the, uh, on the front. Uh, two EMG 81s, uh, volume tone, uh, standard uh, stop tail piece with a three-way toggle, rosewood fingerboard, uh, mahogany body. And uh, I love this guitar. I've had this guitar for so long. Uh, it's, uh, it's been 20 years now that wow. I've had it. It's a long time. Uh, it's in... Held up very well. It's in mint condition. I mean, it's got some hairline scratches on it and uh, a little bit of wear where, my, uh, where the metal hand sits. <laughs> but uh, other than that, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty minty. Uh, great tones. Uh, these are uh, original EMGs, you know, not the... Uh, not the Quick Connects? Not the Quick Connects. So these are the, uh, these are actually hardwired to these. So, um, I don't know, for some reason they just... I think they have a little extra something, right? They just have a little extra something. There, there's... I, I mean, I, I know that. I know the convenience of it, but I think just something about the, uh, the Quick Connect... Um, does a little something to the EMGs that, you know, they kind of lose a little bit of that oomph. A little bit of that heat. Yeah. Uh, but a couple of guys were asking about wanting to see um, my Explorer, and uh, here it is. Um, this is um, the only Explorer I have from ESP. Okay. Um, they, uh, they did make a JH... Two. I thought you had that one. No, because it wasn't anything like Hetfield's. You know, it was diamond plated, um, but his had the uh, the the elk heads on it. Okay. And this had like the diamond inlays, and his was a set neck, and the one that they sold was a bolt on. So it was. So you were you know, like very cool, but you know, it's not exactly not really right. exactly the same thing. Um, eventually, I'll. Uh, I'll convince the guys from ESP to make me some, but uh, ha! Until that day, you know. let's hear how this thing we'll, sounds, we'll, we'll, man. I'll call Makoto; he'll he'll take care of it. Of you course. Know? By the way, Makoto sold me this guitar. My first four ESP guitars, Makoto sold me at 48th Street Custom. My KH2, my KH3, this, my JH1. Um, Shout out to Makoto. All, all from him. He's uh, he's in Japan right now. Um, but you know, been playing these, like I said, since 96, since you were a wee lad. So, um, yeah. And it's, uh, they're just fantastic guitars. I mean, I, I just, next level I, craftsmanship. I, 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 ha beautiful. I haven't touched this guitar. Like I said, in, I, I probably haven't touched this guitar in 10 years. I pulled it out of the box, um, out of the case, you know, still in tune, um, nothing wacky about it at all. 
Uh, didn't have to adjust the truss rod or, or do anything. Just needed a little tuning tweak, but other than that, it was it was pretty set. Um, but yeah, I mean these things, like you know, I always talk about the quality of the craftsmanship, the fret work. You can't really beat these. ESP, you know um, what I mean. So. Um, if you guys have any comments, questions, you guys want to hear any, uh, uh, you guys want to see anything else in my collection. You're going to play it at all? I'm going to play it a little bit. Okay. Um, you know, as the closing credits, you know, I'll give you a little, a little taste, a little, a little something. Uh, but uh, if you guys want to see anything else in my collection, um, you know. If you want to see me slop on that thing, just, yeah, that's ah, ah. Yeah, that's not going to happen. But... Um, <laughs> You know, you can uh, when you just, go to the bathroom just, later, just, just hit us up, and that. if you want any like close-up shots of these, you know, uh, CJ, since he doesn't really do anything around here other than he's on his phone, he'd be he'd be glad to take some photos <laughs> of it and uh, and post them and show you. Shout out to CJ. Yeah, shout out to CJ. So, uh, Let's see what you got going on. Yeah, it'll just just give it a little something, you know. <laughs> best friend was teaching him how to play because I'm trying to listen to you tell the story Headfield's best friend was you know taught him how to play guitar and he's like he did a really good job in teaching him how to play his and dad said that his dad said that Virgil while he's sitting behind Headfield and and you can and and while they're doing that you hear Headfield just doing the the um, he's he's doing the unforgiven because this is the that's what Headfield's playing under the vocals for Unforgiven, he's going. <laughs> Example, sing. No, I don't sing. And then he does the part in wherever I may roam the You know, and he's got all the tape on the guitar to, to cut out all, all the all stuff. Yeah. And then after that they they put they pull out the the baritone um uh Dano? So, yeah, Dan Electro. And they with really thick strings on it, and they do this ad but true thing. That Very interesting. But you know, heavy guitar, thick tones. You know, every time oh, yeah. every time we would do any recording mm -hmm. sessions, and uh, we wanted that you know that magic Metallica tone. This is the guitar that we would do all the rhythm tones on. Uh, three tracks, you know, left, right, center. Left, was, right, the thickener. The thickener, uh, just like uh, Papa Head. Papa Head does, and uh, that's it. 
So if you have any uh, questions, comments, want to see any more stuff, down below. Right down here. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and everything. I'm George. That's Harry. And, you know, get her done. ESP. That's it.